On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2021 version of the Specialized Fuse 27.5. This is the least expensive version of Specialized aggressive hardtail lineup called the Fuse. It offers 130 millimeters of suspension travel, a one by drivetrain, and modern geometry so you can have some fun out on the trail. So in this video, we're gonna go into those features go into the designs, talk about some of the upgrades from the 2020 version, and then of course, we'll find out what this bike weighs. So be sure to leave your comments down in the comment section below, letting me know what you think about the features and designs of this bike. So getting into it, the 2021 version of the Fuse 27.5 runs the same frame that we got in 2020. So this has specialized A1 aluminum frame. It's gonna run things like internal cable routing, it's going to be set up with Boost 148 in the rear. And then, of course, you're going to run a Boost 15 by 110 millimeter up front. And it's going to have 130 millimeters of front suspension travel. And to make it real capable on the trail, you're going to run a 66 degree head tube angle, a 74 degree seat tube angle, and a 430 millimeter chain stay. And what that means is with that 74 degree seat tube angle, you're gonna be set up in a position where you're gonna be able to pedal this bike and climb pretty well. And then a 66 degree head tube angle is really gonna allow the bike to be stable going down. And that 430 millimeter chain stay is not the shortest on the market. So it's gonna lend this bike to be a little more stable than some of the others, but that's one of the things that changes between this bike and the comp version. So the comp version has a sliding rear dropout, whereas on the base model here, it's got a fixed dropout, which does make for a much easier setup, a little less expensive frame, but you're still gonna have massive tire clearance where this could run either a 29 by 2.6 if you changed out the wheel set, or you can run up to a three inch wide tire. Now out of the box, this 27.5 is set up with a butcher grid tire up front and a 27.5 by 2.8. And this is gonna be a super aggressive front tire to really stick the front end of the bike. And then in the rear, it's gonna be set up with a specialized slaughter grid. This tire has strong side knobs, but it's gonna have a bit smoother center line, allowing it to pick up some speed a bit more. Now, Adding into the geometry and how this bike handles, up front, it's got a RockShox Judy TK Silver. This is 130 millimeters of travel, as we said before. It's got a nice 42 millimeter offset in the front end. And then you're gonna be set up with an adjustable compression and lockout. So all the way down, you're gonna be locked out. You can open it up, which is gonna allow some compression. Open it up, which is gonna allow the front end to be super active and it's progressive anywhere in between, so you can really dial in how that's gonna feel. The other neat thing with that bike is it's gonna be air adjustable as well. And the neat thing with the air adjustment means that you can set up the front end of this bike to ride just how you want it by increasing or decreasing the air pressure in the fork, effectively changing the spring. The other neat thing is on that damper unit, you're gonna of course have rebound adjust so you can get this dialed in. Coming to the back end of the bike, this is set up using a one by drivetrain from Shimano. Now in 2020, this had a one by drivetrain 10 speed as well, but it was the previous generation Deor. And what we're getting in 2021 is the new Deor M5100 drivetrain. And the M5100 drivetrain gets us the newest style parallelogram on the rear derailleur. It's got a nice clutch feature, which is gonna allow you to have a lot more control over the chain tension with it turned on. Because as you can see here, if you turn that chain, if you turn that clutch off, now the chain's gonna bounce around. So that's gonna help keep things real nice and quiet. And then it's got this super wide range rear cassette. So this cassette is a 11 to 51 tooth range. And that means you're gonna have a lot more range than you did on the 2020, which was running the previous generation. So it was an 11 to 42 running a Sunrace cassette. In this case, we're Shimano and Shimano on the back end, runs through, of course, KMC chain to this stout aluminum crank set. So this crank set is aluminum. It's got a 30 tooth chain ring that's narrow wide. It's going through a threaded bottom bracket and 
The only thing I don't like about this crank is that it's square taper. So that doesn't really make a performance difference, but it adds a bit of heft to the bike, though it gives a really nice place to upgrade the bike as you go on. For a wheel set, we've got the Stout Trail 27.5 wheels. These are a 38 millimeter internal width wheel. They're 32 spokes and new for 2020, they're laced up to some Shimano FHMT 400 hubs. So you're getting a real slick wheel set on this bike that's gonna be super durable. It won't be the lightest weight wheel set out there, but it's gonna be something that's laced up and should last. Cockpit wise, Stout continues with the Stout Pro 31.8 handlebar. You've of course got a nice short Stout stem, 45 millimeters on the size small bike we're taking a look at. And then it's gonna connect up with one of these one by style levers for your dropper post that's going to actuate a 30.9 millimeter trans x dropper post now on size small and extra small it's going to have 100 millimeters of travel and medium and larger it's going to have 120 millimeters of travel also on the bar you've got the shimano deor shifter this is going to be set up as thumb thumb so you easier gear harder gear or you can do it thumb and index finger, which is gonna allow you to sort of set up your shifting the way that you like it. The brake set on the bike is also a nice huge upgrade for 2020. We've got the Shimano MT200 brake set. This is a nice upgrade from the 2020 model, which ran a Tektro brake set. And here we've got a hydraulic mineral oil, two piston caliper, both on the front and the rear and it's gonna run 160 millimeter rotor front and rear on size extra small through medium. And then it's gonna have a 180 millimeter rotor up front on sizes large and extra large. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features and designs of this 2020 Specialized Fuse 27.5, let's go ahead and we'll find out what this bike weighs. Actual weight of the Fuse 27.5 comes in and weighs. 29.89 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2020 Specialized Fuse 27.5. Go ahead and let me know what you think about this upgraded version of the 27.5 entry level fuse. While you're at it, be sure to leave a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this in the future.